Welcome back to another Varnberg Implement pre-owned informational and walk around video. Today we're here with a 2011 John Deere 5101E. Comes in at 101 engine horsepower and 82 PTO horsepower. This is what you would consider a large chassis utility tractor like the 4610M Massey. Uh, this one comes with the 553 loader. We're just going to do a quick walk around here. It's got Goodyear front tires and they are 12.424s the left front. Come back here to the back we have 18430 rears. Uh, got lots of tread left. You even still got the little tits on the sides of them. The back end of the tractor. 3 sets of remote valves. Uh, 540 PTO. This does not have economy PTO. Uh, on this version, you've got telescopic link ends, uh, your chain style stabilizers, uh, drawbar, adjustable drawbar. Uh, this is a basic utility tractor available from John Deere. It's all match tires, uh, looks like they've replaced them at the same time because you can see the teats on that side too. Got mid mount loader hydraulics. On the 553 loader, it is a quick detach loader. Uh, detaches off here. The loader stands are in the cross tube. And there's your right front Goodyear tire. This does have the John Deere style quick attach. Uh, you got to pull that deal, take the pin out to take the loader on and off, but it does have a quick detach system. To unlatch the hood, Pull this pin, pull that hood. Air cleaner up front, battery, cond condensers and radiator. It does have a clean out mesh screen here in front. So there, it looks like just in front of that one, the radiator's back there. Fuel injection pump, exhaust system, your oil check is here and fill is there. We just got this tractor in, you're seeing it pretty much like the way it came. We'll jump over here on the right hand side of the engine and show you it. There's your condensers, your clean out screen condensers. Uh, filter is out here fuel filter back there, hydraulic pumps, pretty nice clean tractor. Look underneath there, it does have only a single door cab. This side is uh, shut but it looks like we get inside, we'll show you. It looks like maybe there's a possibility to add a second door. I'm not sure. Check with your local John Deere dealer on that. Lights, windshield wiper, air cleaner. Only thing I can see, got a little dink messed up in the poly fender back here. And on the front side, there's a spot here on the poly fender that... Uh, is missing. Other than that, the poly hood. On the poly hood, there's a little ding here and a little bit on the front here, but uh, other than that, the grill is pretty good and straight. Hood looks good. And this side, that all looks good in through there and up on top. This fender is in good shape there. And back here, just that right side has got a little ding on it, but uh, quick check of the lights here. Those are your hazards. Hazards are all working. I'll go do the uh, regular lights here for you.
That's your field lights. You can see both of the field lights back here are working. We come around here, you can see both of those are working. And the front grill lights. I'll turn on the uh, road lights now. High beam. Turn signal. It's time to jump up in the cab. Uh, got a left hand door entry here. Got a couple little cup holders there. Um, your fuses and all that is underneath of there. PTO engagement, four wheel drive engagement on this side. There's seats forward and back there. It is a mechanical seat. Uh, this is your range control levers. Uh, you've got one, two, three, four in a park position on this lever. These four, as I read, are synchronized. And then you have three ranges. So you've got A, B, and C range. So you got four gears. So you got 12 speeds. These are non synchronized. It says you will need to come to a stop to shift these. These can be shifted with the pushing of the clutch in on the go. And then you have a forward reverse power shuttle. Just forward, neutral, and reverse on it. Blinker switch. This is your lights, hazards, road, field. That's high beams, low beams, windshield wiper. Uh, this is your hand throttle key switch. It does have tilt steering. Twenty four hundred. 68.5 hours is what it's showing on here. We'll fire it up here in a little bit and let you hear it. Sun visor here. Air conditioning controls are on this side. Um, defrost, that looks like your temp controls, your blower speeds. AM, FM radio has an auxiliary input there. Uh, looks like that window opens. This is the door. And I don't know if you can buy a latch and hinge system, but uh, uh, this tractor has only got a single door on it. Foot throttle, separate brakes, independent brakes left and right that you can flip the lever to control both of them. This is your joystick lever. Uh, differential lock here on the heel. Uh, hydraulic three-point flow control flow control you can smooth it out with that this is your three remotes your dra your uh, draft control or not draft control this has just got position control raise and lower on that uh, power outlet this is going to be that's a three pin ISO power port if you want to hook up a monitor uh, that's the industry power socket it has a cutout so if you're running a baler you can do that there does have armrests on the seat and got a little light here it works probably three position like we use on off and then when you open the door side windows open a little bit there and back window even opens we're gonna turn on the key show you the lights not showing any hazard lights uh, that are coming on. This is because we don't have oil pressure yet. But we'll fire it up here. Throttle all the way down. We're in neutral. That's it, park. speed there. Looks like we're running about 2400 for PTO. Raise and lower the loader. Got joystick control there. Got bucket gauge rod it looks like there.
kind of your max lifting capacity there so radio works okay we're gonna drop the loader down here first thing you have to do is put your range shift you got first second third and fourth we'll try all four range four gears a speed there and then you'll have to move your power shuttle that's pretty slow so we can clutch go to second that's your second gear Whoop, there's third gear. Third gear. Okay. And fourth gear. That's all in the low A range there. Next we're going to, uh, we'll just shift down and do first. See all the gears are working. Then we'll do B range. B range. Second. Third. And last is fourth. And then you still have a power shuttle here. It's not a real aggressive power shuttle. Not at those speeds. Then the last, we're going to come over here, we'll stop the tractor, go to C range in one, and we'll see how much room we got to go through all these gears. High range, first gear, 3.1 mile an hour there, it shows at idle speed. There's second. Third. And fourth. Works in all 12 speeds there. And then you got your forward reverse shuttle. It kind of rolls and then comes to a stop, it looks like, how they're doing theirs. a clean tractor it's a local trade-in uh, come just north of uh, the Missouri River over here close to us everything's working what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the tripod out here throw show you some uh, outside show you PTO works and all that and uh, give you a total walk around so you can make the best buying decision if it's something you want to come take a look at PTO control is right there. See the PTO light came on. Now I'm not sure if that's shiftable or not, but I would have thought that someplace it would show you PTO speed. But uh, I'm not seeing any controls on that, and we didn't get a manual to see if that will display PTO speeds. I know on a lot of tractors you can change that, but. It does show the PTO is engaged. We're in neutral position, so, and that's disengaged.
tuning in to this walk around video on this John Deere 5101E. One thing I just did notice, it says limited. Don't know if that makes a package difference or not, but uh, it's a nice local trade-in. Come check us out at Varnberg Implement. We're your West Central Missouri Massey Ferguson dealer. Just outside of Kansas City, Missouri. We've got uh, new and used tractors. Uh, everything is priced. We've got the pricing right on this tractor. One thing to mention, we offer AgGuard extended warranty. This tractor is available up to three year extended coverage. Here's an example of a one year $500 deductible, 250 additional hours. You can get powertrain or powertrain and hydraulics coverage. Uh, helps reinsure your investment. So come check us out. If you got any questions, give us a call at 660 584 2250 or come visit us at Missouri Th Business 13 Highway and Missouri 13 in Higginsville, Missouri. Just look for the big gray Agco Massey Ferguson Varnberg implement sign when you come into town at the first stoplight. Thank you and check watch for more videos coming soon.